Hello, so here is how I create my YouTube thumbnails. I thought I would share this process with you guys because I had a lot of questions before about how I uh, did those effects. I learned this from my YouTube coach um, and I will link her YouTube channel below in the description. So she taught me this and let's start. All right, we're gonna go to elements and then gradients. And I'm going to select, I like this one most of the time, so I'll select that. I'll just drag and drop it, drop this. And then you can change the colors here on top. So I wanna make this like a pink and yellow one. So, I'm gonna do that for the first one. And then for the second one, again, click on that, sorry. Click on that and select the color of my choice. And here, okay. The next thing I do is I select one of my pictures. Um, so the YouTube thumbnail I'm making right now is going to be about the video I'm going to upload this video, which is <clears throat> um, how to create YouTube thumbnails. So let's find something. Okay, let's make something funny. This is YouTube. We can make something interactive. It's like I'm saying YouTube here, ha huh? Anyway, so I selected a picture, kind of made it bigger, like to fit at least like the health of the uh, screen. Click on the picture and then effects, background remover. First thing I do is to remove the background. And then once the background is removed, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the colors. The light this and then the contrast maybe. Whoa. Um okay. And that didn't work out so well. Anyway, I don't think I did a good job with the colors, but you get the picture. Mine are usually like pinkish reddish tint to it. Anyway, so once I adjusted the colors, which I don't think this is really a good picture, but anyway, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this picture and paste it again. So now you see there's two layers of it. And the back one, the one in the back, I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna click on the effects again. This time, when you go, it's kind of slow right now. When you go to, let's say, pop, double click on that, it's gonna give that effect, but I wanna select the color. So I'm gonna double click again, and it's gonna give me this uh, setting where I can change each of the colors in this effect, right? So for the highlights, I'm gonna make it both the same color so that there's no, so it's just like a shadow and there's no, you know, none of the other parts of it. So the first one's green, and then the second one, I'm gonna make it green as well. So it's just gonna look like a green shadow behind me. And what this does is, one second, sorry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit bigger than the other one so I can kind of like surround it. And I'm gonna drag and drop this one. It's kind of too big, I guess. So let me make it, 
better. <clears throat> and then I'm going to start adding my um, elements there. Um, put a solid background behind the um, behind the letters. What, what was going to be the title or the caption on the thumbnail? It's going to be create YouTube thumbnails. Create thumbnails. So, okay. So I just need how to, I'm going to change the colors. Don't worry. How to create YouTube. So, in between, I'm going to find the YouTube elements. Let's see. Okay, good. Um, perfect. YouTube. Yep. And here we can start. First, I'm going to change the color of that one, and then I'm going to make this one. Oh. Sorry, click on the color, make it white, and then click on the color. Make it black. And add the text. I'm just gonna use my heading. It's gonna be how to um, which is it's gonna be on black. How to copy the this one's gonna be black. Um YouTube. Oh, I was already copied, so I'm just going to paste here, drag it here. How to create YouTube thumbnails. Ooh, so I'm just going to change that to fit better. Um, One trick I do, I don't know if this is the right contrast, but I may change it. However, one trick I do is I go ahead, and again, I learned this from my YouTube coach, uh, set this, I'm sorry, resize, resize to see it at 10%. And if I can still read the captions on the thumbnail, that it's good. Because that's almost as close as, as close to the size as you would see on your phone when you're going through YouTube thumbnails. So that's a good tip. Let's go back. That's better. And then I put something like another picture behind it, like a background to make it more. Um, uh, I can put like, or no, that's too busy. Yeah, here. So I can put this one. No, it's not going to look like this. And send backwards, send backward again. So it's behind me and I'll send backward. Oh, what do I do? Send backward. Hmm. Select the right thing, send backward. Here you go. Right. And then I'm going to make this kind of a little bit more transparent so it doesn't drag, 
too much attention, grab too much attention. And yeah, so that's about it. I mean, you can play with it, make sure the colors are right and the and the um, you know, the thumbnails are right, the contrast and everything. Pretty much this is how I do it. For the most part, people wanted to know about this kind of like the colorful shadow behind me. And that's exactly how I do. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you next time.